Hello and welcome to today's SDL Trillion Docs demonstration. In this session, we will showcase our powerful yet easy content authoring platform using SDL Trillion Docs DraftSpace. DraftSpace provides easy, intuitive content authoring and editing for subject matter experts and non-technical writers, in addition to core technical authoring teams. With its whole document view and intuitive online interface, DraftSpace provides polished and powerful features for all authors. Now let's dive into the demo. As we'll see on screen, the document that I'm using for our demo today is a sales guide. So this content has been written by a subject matter expert in the sales team. And the intent of this guide is to provide sales messaging appropriate for selling this product. I may have been notified um, via uh, to work on this publication via an email link perhaps. So I've clicked on that link and it has opened this document or publication in my browser. So it's an online browser based solution, part of the STL Tridian Docs suite. And as I scroll through, you'll notice that this is displaying for me the entire publication from start to finish. As I scroll through, you'll notice that there's different components or topics of content. I can also change my view to remove the space in between them, so it's a simple flow of content. If I wish to see some further structure, I can use the Outline tab on the right hand side and this presents um, the structure of the document, how these components and topics fit together. Think of this as your table of contents view. I can use the uh, outline tab to navigate and by clicking on any of these components. As I do that, you'll notice that some of these uh, look differently in the preview panel. So pain points uh, topic has a padlock on it. If I click on that I see easy friendly messaging telling me this particular part is not editable. This topic is released so I can't edit it. If I scroll up I'll notice that uh, this topic industry trends um, is not grayed out, doesn't have an icon. So this is available for me to work with. So let's make some edits to the content. So let's start with some structural changes and then we'll work on the topics themselves. So for example, I may wish to move this pain points topic uh, down in the structure. So I'm going to move this down below the target market. And you'll notice that these now switch place in my overall structure. Now pain points is one of those topics that is released so it's not editable, but I was still able to move it in the overall document structure. And if I scroll up to the top, You'll see that making changes to the table of contents or document structure checks out the top level component or map for the publication. So if I click on the icon, it says that only I can edit this structure component as it is now checked out from the Tridian Docs repository. Other authors, however, can still edit any of the individual topics within the document, but only I can edit the table of contents. Let's continue to work with the overall document structure and perhaps we wish to insert an additional topic or section above pain points. So let me go to our menu on the right side and insert an existing topic. This connects to the SDL Trillion Docs repository and I can find my content that I wish to reuse. So when I'm in a, a folder with the, the topics, it's giving me previews, real-time previews of all the content so I can choose exactly which component I wish to reuse. So I'm going to use this new trends in the market topic. I'm going to select it and select insert and you'll notice now it has placed it into my structure within my publication. So now I may wish to move this left perhaps or even move this up and leave it in here above pain points. So now how do we uh, make actual changes? to the topics themselves. It's very straightforward and very intuitive. I'm simply going to click into the content and start typing. And I can make changes both to the title or anywhere else just simply by typing. At the moment I did that, you may notice that 
the topic now has a different icon. So previously it didn't have an icon, now it tells me that only I can edit this document. So similar to the overall structure, I am now editing this particular topic. To, for someone else to be able to edit this, I would have to save my changes and that would release the lock within the central repository of Tridian Docs. So now I have this component or topic checked out and I am working on it making content updates. Let's do some further editing. So perhaps I wish to uh, make this first paragraph into a note. So I can make this a generic note and you'll see the structure is now letting me know that this is a note. I also have the ability to change it so I can change it to an important note for example. The right menu gives access to the structure of the content and so do the breadcrumbs at the bottom. So you can see I can also work on changing it here to a warning note. So this gives us powerful interaction with the content and ability uh, to structure it as we wish. With its deep integration, DraftSpace allows us to reuse content from the Tridian Docs repository. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to reuse content and I can search for and find particular library files is where we often collect content references so statements that may wish to be reused generic statements often uh, legal or caution or warning statements are good examples of this so I've found a library file I'm going to reuse a particular statement and insert that into my into my document you'll notice that it's grayed out and it tells me that it's a reused note and it also I can see and show the origin to see which file and which reuse this is coming from so it's grayed out I can't change that here I can only change this statement if I had access to changing that library file itself some other powerful features uh, might be to work with tables for example so let's uh, insert a table once I do that you'll notice the uh, extra bar at the top toolbar saying table giving me access to additional features and functions to work with the table so that I can move columns around split columns and rows etc as you would expect we can also integrate directly with the repository to insert images so let's go ahead and do that again I can search or navigate for the images Again, I get previews as I did with the topics, so I can see clearly which image I'm going to reuse. Again, this is connecting directly to the repository. And now we have our image reused. This image may be in this publication and many others. I can also add a description or a title to the table if I wish. Very easily from our uh, context sensitive menus. When I'm done working with this topic, I can save or check in this particular topic. So I'm going to save all the changes associated with this topic and you'll notice my icon, uh, the unlock icon is removed. So now this is available for me to work with again or for anyone else to work with this particular component or topic. Since I'm finished working with this topic, I may wish to change the properties of this component. So the properties again are a link directly to the SDL Trillion Docs repository. This ties in with the metadata associated with the component. So I may choose to go down to workflow and move the status on to be reviewed. And I may indeed want to set a reviewer so that someone will know that they should be working on this. I may also wish to assign some, uh, some change description. Um, so 
the version I may make changes for example and hit modify to save those changes to the repository to this point we've been working with modifying existing content but perhaps I wish to actually insert a brand new topic. So I can also do that from the right hand side, insert new topic. So I'll select where I would like to um, place that in the publication. Now I get to select which folder in the repository I'm going to store that in. So I'm going to store it in my topics folder. So I'm going to create it newly here. And I get to choose a particular template. So templates are good to create the structure of the content and help authors with the different types of information they're looking to create. I'm going to select a concept here. And once I do, then I set the initial properties. So I'm going to go for set a title and create. This will then create my topic within the repository of SDL Trillion Docs and also insert it into my publication where we chose it. So again I can move that around or left or up or down and then I can come in here and start creating my new content. As I'm done with this update I may wish to complete my work in general. So I can use the save all documents at the top which will not only check in this particular component but also that map uh, structural file that we had checked out at the start. All content is now checked in, updated back to the SDL Trillion Docs repository and available for other users to work with. And this completes our demo. Thank you.